It's now my pleasure to introduce the Honourable Clyde Jackman, Minister of Seniors, Wellness and Social Development. Now, I'm not going to read all of his bio because it is uh, lengthy, but I'll give you some basic facts. Clyde Jackman was born in Grohl, Hermitage Bay. His family settled to Marystown in 1968. Minister Jackman has a Bachelor of Arts in Education degree from Memorial University and um, and a Master's of Education from Mount St. Vincent University in Nova Scotia. Before joining politics, he worked in the educational sector for 27 years as a teacher and as, a, and as a, an administrator. He has served as a volunteer at both the local and provincial levels. He has become a member of the Board of Directors of the T.J. McDonald Youth Group Home, a volunteer firefighter, uh, an active supporter of local community church and his family have provided foster care support. Minister Jackman has been the member for Bjorn Pacencio West since 2003. Since that time, he has served in various capacities and has held numerous ministerial portfolios, including the Minister of Environment and Conservation, Minister of Tourism, Culture and Recreation, Minister of Fisheries and Aquaculture, Minister of Education, Minister of Child, Youth and Family Services, Minister of Health and Community uh, Services. And more recently, he was appointed the Minister of the new Department of Seniors, Wellness and Social Development, as well the Minister responsible for Newfoundland and Labrador Housing and the Minister responsible for the status of persons with disabilities. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the Honorable Clyde Jackman. Of course, none of those portfolios have had within the last year with all the changes going on. Somebody said, you've had quite a number of portfolios. I said, I'm after walking down the government house more often than Moses walked across the desert. <laughs> uh, I've been uh, very honored uh, to take on, on this responsibility. It's a great, great department. And uh, I was on Nightline the day before last, and I was explaining explain to the host about, you know, all the things that I envisioned for the department. So he was letting me chat and all this kind of stuff. And towards the end of it, he said, uh, I said, you know, I'm honored that the Premier asked me to do this. He said, do you ever, you ever consider that anybody might have asked you because you're getting up to yourself? <laughs> <laughs> it's, uh, it's a pleasure for me to be here with uh, Ross, your MHA, the Minister of Finance and the Treasury Board, uh, Mayor. The officials is great. Is great to be here. I got to tell you one thing. That bloody Russ. This is a facility. This is amazing. This is amazing. You wait a few more for our MHAs come and see this. <laughs> They're gonna say, "Where did you get this?" This is amazing. I'm, I'm not. I'm just joking. It is. He took me inside to see the arena, and uh, we're gonna see the theater afterwards. And this is an amazing project. And I, I think when we sit around our table. And uh, I think if you look at where Clarenville is positioned now to where it was 15 or 20 years ago, it's a totally, totally different place. And I think people around our table and our government see Clarenville as certainly growing. I would say new. I know it's been here for a while, but like it's new and there's an energy that people sense from this community. And, and surrounding communities, and certainly you've got a strong advocate with, in Ross around our table. Uh, it's a pleasure for me to be here to officially open the uh, Clarenville Age Friendly Park. Let me begin by saying that uh, in this new department, it says Seniors, Wellness, and Social Development. And I took this with me because the young girl, the little girl who was at the park this morning, uh, just then, when we cut the ribbon, she gave it back to me. And I brought it, I want to, to signal her out and to say to you that at 10 o'clock this morning, we were at St. Matthew's School in Cowan Heights. And we launched an investment into a call Participation Nation Unplugged, trying to get the youth to move away from their technologies and get out and be a bit more active. My point in saying all of that, connected to what you have happening here, 
It's all about making our province a healthier population. And I am so pleased to see a young person from, from the high school here. And when I asked about what the brown boxes were, he told me that they have a plot that they grow vegetables in. And then someone else told me that there are groups within the community that plant crops there. And then somebody else mentioned to me that they have a harvest time when they invite the community groups in to participate in the harvest meal. That's fantastic. It is fantastic. And Leo says that this is a model for some of the other communities. I'm telling you, it is the model for some of the other communities. And I can tell you that from from here on in, you're going to hear me. You're going to hear me on as much media as I can get onto about making us as a province a healthier population. But I don't want to go back to what is and look at our rates of obesity and look at that. This, that was there. Now let's start now and look to make a difference. We've got a reality in this province facing us. The stats. Canada estimates that Newfoundland and Labrador will have the highest proportion of seniors in the country by 2026. Now for Ross and I, that's really important too. <laughs> right? We're going to be there. But the other thing that we recognize is that seniors and older people get out to vote. That's the reality of it. This is a statistic that we can't ignore. And the one thing that we are aiming towards <coughs> is to attempt to keep seniors as close to their home environments as we possibly can for as long as we can. We know that seniors do well, better, in environments that they're familiar with. So you're going to hear me speaking about that very much in, in the future. Because what we want is we want a population from our youngest to our eldest, who are out and about and active within their communities. And the more that we can do to support that, the more we want to do. And through the development of age-friendly parks and other wellness initiatives, we believe we are paving that way forward. <clears throat> I am delighted to be here with you. The story that I've heard here today, like I've said, will be told many times over, and I wish you all the best. If I'm around, maybe invite me back for your, your next harvest celebration. <laughs> Thank you very much.